Hey YouTube, it's Budget Bug Out, and today I'm going to be talking about the Spyderco Dog Tag Knife. This is a slip joint folder, so uh, for those of you who are in the UK, rejoice. <laughs> this knife could be great for you. And those of you who are in the States, um, rejoice because this would be an amazing backup blade. Um, so stay tuned, I'll tell you more information. Um, uh, just a little bit about how I received this knife. Uh, I received it in the mail in one of my uh, uh, battle boxes and uh, I kept it and held on to it and I've been uh, wearing it often whenever I walk outside of the uh, the gate. Now, I live on a military base over here in Korea for those of you who don't know. And in here over Korea they have different uh, knife laws they don't really like you uh, walking around with. You know, tactical blade like this. If you're on base, it's okay, but if you walk out in Korea, um, the police could confiscate it because you know, they could deem it as a weapon. So having a, a knife like this uh, paired with a you know, Swiss Army knife and you know multi-tool. This is the the Leatherman uh, signal. Uh, testing it for. Uh, stay tuned for the review on that. Um, but you know, just just paired with those things, I have more than enough of blades to it to, to make myself happy. <laughs> um, and if you're maybe you're a gym rat, and you just want to have something in your shirt. Um, I, you might laugh. You might think, you, why would you need a, a knife in the gym? But I've actually um, used a knife um, whenever I was in my uh, what's known as PT gear in the uniform because um, someone uh, keeled over and they needed CPR. They actually died. Um, they were resuscitated, thankfully, but they needed their shirt torn off of them and, and nobody had a, had a knife on them except for me. Um, so I'm not saying that this knife is going to save someone's life um, and to buy it um, because you could, you, could, you could help someone's, uh, someone, keep someone from dying. Uh, but it's good just to have a knife on you. You never know. Uh, it doesn't have to be life or death, you know. Um, but so let's talk about the blade. This is what's known as CPM S30V steel, and that's a super steel. Uh, so basically, that just means that um, this knife is going to stay sharper longer than something like uh, like a Swiss Army knife. Uh, however, uh, whenever it does need to be sharpened, it's going to um, it's going to take a you're going to need to have a good sharpener or just have some patience whenever you sharpen it to, to get it back um, to a to sharp edge. Um, it's a chisel grind so you have that grit going for you. It's only going to be, uh, you only need to sharpen this side of it. Um, this side is, you can see it's flat. Um, since we're on this side you can see Serge, Serge Serge's name. He, he is the, um, the uh, designer of this, Serge Pencheco. Um, and he has a lot of other cool designs, so you guys can check out his website. I'll leave that link in the description box below, as well as a link where you can find this on Amazon. Um, another thing to mention is that you can find these uh, chains, uh, the beaded chain uh, necklaces on Amazon as well. Um, you can purchase this together because the Spyderco dog tag, unfortunately, does not come with um, dog tag necklace. So just kind of keep that in mind. This came with the, the box, uh, the, the battle box. So um, was just, just like I said, just keep that in mind. The uh, shape of the blade is what's known as a sheep's hoof, which is actually one of my favorite uh, favorite designs for a blade. It, it, it works sort of like a, like a razor blade, um, but what you do is you have to hold it at the at these spidey holes, and the spidey holes are the ways that you uh, that you deploy the knife. For, for those of you who uh, didn't see that. Um, so you just, just use the spider, uh, these thumb holes, um, but you have to hold the, the thumb hole in order to use it because this is slip joint and this is not a, a stable stable locking mechanism as you can see. Um, so yeah, you can either press down on hit this just to make it easier or just or just close it carefully. Um, this is not going to be something that you open uh, with with a flick of a wrist or, or thumb or anything like that. So um, keep that in mind. This is this is intended to just be worn around the neck as a as a latch ditch uh, knife. And I, I really like this knife. It's really not that expensive. I've seen it as cheap as like sixty, seventy dollars, and I've seen it as expensive as you know 
oh, I guess a little over 100 um, but I think on Amazon you can find it for like 70 or 80 bucks. Like I said, I'll, I'll leave a link below if you're interested in purchasing this. And I'll also put more of the specifications below. But speaking of specifications, the blade length on this is going to be a 1.14 inches long. And uh, it's the, the handle and it, the close position is going to be 2 inches long. And also the weight on this is 0.88 ounces. So um, it's very lightweight. You, you know, if you're, if you're in the military, you, you know what it's like to, to wear dog tags. And you pretty much forget that you have them on for a while. And the same goes uh, for this. You're just going to forget that you're wearing it after a while. And, and, and you'll also think that you need to, um, <laughs> if you... Uh, wake up and you're getting ready to you know, get dressed and you're ready to, to, to leave for the day. If you don't have this around your neck and you don't feel this against your chest, you're, uh, you it might even come to the fact that you think that you're that you're missing something. Um, so I, I have that feeling sometimes when if I don't have this around my neck. So anyways guys, um, for your consideration, the Spyderco dog, ta dog tag knife. I'll put more information in the description box, anything that I forgot to mention, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. And remember, it pays to be prepared. God bless. Hey YouTube, it's Budget Bug Out, and today I'm going to be talking about the uh, five knives that I brought with me to Korea. Uh, 